Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. And Max has decided to sit in the chair where I sit to do my videos. So we're going to go through the U magazine, which is in today's the Mail on Sunday. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 11 and 4 a.m. Before I do so, I went to my phone just now to check my emails, and what did it say? first email that I got, Crystal, what would you like on your tombstone? Which is very, very scary, isn't it, when you're living by yourself? What would I look, what would I like to be written on my tombstone? I haven't got a clue and I don't really care, to be honest. So we've got Jennifer Saunders on the front page of the U magazine. Get a dog, mess around, don't bother arguing. The Secrets of a Happy Life and Long Marriage by Jennifer Saunders. If we go through this magazine, which it gives ideas on styles that women uh, uh, like to... Because it's mainly based at women, isn't it? So I don't see any men's clothes in here. Although men read the mail on Sunday as well, not just women. All I see at the moment is a page full of women's garments and women's makeup. Men do read magazines, you know, in the in the newspaper. So we've got Ageless Style, Wardrobe Staples for Everyone by Fashion Director Shelley Bella. And again we've got oversized bottoms of jeans. I don't really wear jeans a lot. So I have got three or four pairs of them but I myself do not wear jeans as a main part of my wardrobe. So there we are, long baggy jeans, oversized jeans. My mum wears oversized jeans. Then we have Inspirational, it's in you, an older lady with a pair of sunglasses on there. Because women aren't just young, they're middle aged and old as well. Colour therapy. Give your summer staples an uplift with glorious mood enhancing hues. Now yesterday I uploaded pictures to Facebook dating and one of them I had a hat on. Similar to that, but not white and black stripes. It was this one in fact, I think. This hat. See, that's my hat. And that model in that magazine has got a similar hat, but she's younger than me and black and white stripes. I can't be a model because of my teeth. My teeth are crooked. And every, every woman that looks in a magazine sees straight white teeth. Now the person on the street has got crooked teeth. They can't afford expensive clothes. Their teeth are stained from smoking. Not everybody's got perfect teeth, but models have to be perfect. I uploaded a, a picture to Facebook date. It was pink and white shorts. This model has got green and white ones. Slim, perfect teeth, younger than me, and lovely hair. Every day someone asks me for photos, and they steal my ideas and put them on a younger woman, which is very nice. Thank you very much. Duchess of Cornwall and her son Tom Parker Bowles which is in here. Now she's an older woman and she is in You Magazine. She is 20 years older than me and she is in You Magazine. 20 years older. So let's read uh, some of what Camilla has been saying. On Friday nights at home, we were allowed to choose our dinner. I always went for fingered frozen chicken pie, much to my mother's despair, food at my grandma 
this house with more formal French, which was very much the smart thing in those days. What I remembered most there, though, was the brown bread ice cream. And there's a picture of High Grove, the private residence of the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall. My last supper would probably involve my own asparagus with lots of butter. Now, the last supper, that was Jesus, wasn't it? The last supper. So, Angela Hartnett's risotto. I love her cooking. Dover sole minier with rate potatoes and fresh broad beans and peas from the garden. Plus strawberries and raspberries and lots of clotted cream along with a really good glass of red claret, so she drinks alcohol, and seeing it's my last supper, probably too. Her Royal Highness is patron of UK Harvest, a charity on a mission to eliminate hunger and reduce food waste through the redistribution of quality food and by educating everyone on how to reduce household food waste, by collecting surplus food from providers and delivering it directly to charities, they support people living with food insecurity to live well and to age well. Their Nourish Hub also combat social isolation by providing meals and meeting place for local communities. More details at ukharvest.org.uk. So this magazine is full of food. We've got loose tomatoes here, the canny cook, from the food, dark chocolate ginger biscuits, elegant frog, malbec, same with floral aromas and ripe strawberry on a sunbed, wine, elegant frog, malbec. And then we've got go on to something else. My life looked perfect, but I'd wake up thinking, why am I still alive? An obsession with social media took Leanne Maskell to the brink of suicide. And says the model and activist, it's now destroying the mental health of an entire generation. Social media. Social media. But as she tells Anna Moore, it's never too late to break the habit. In Instagram posts, Leanne Farright with fellow model Phoebe Summer and another friend in Sydney was living the dream off camera. However, her life was falling apart. So her life was falling apart. She had everything, but her life was falling apart. After taking a three hour walk without my phone, I felt completely different. Identify the people whose profiles make you feel negatively about yourself or those you return to despite not liking or even following them. Can you block or mute these people? Think carefully about your posts. Can you identify an overall purpose? Ask yourself what your motivation is for everything you share. Enjoy real life. How present are you when having experiences such as going on holiday? What would it like be like to have an exciting experience without them posting it online? Can you try posting, not posting, she means, can you go on holiday, take pictures and not post them everywhere? Create an experience bucket list. Visiting your dream destination, trying out a new activity. Can you make an effort to try to do one of these within the next month? Make short, medium and long term goals and think about how you can reach them. How much time do you spend on screens each day? I thought everything was over for me at 78, then this happened. Now this woman is 78, and she's in a magazine, 78. As the winner of a BBC talent show for senior musicians, Becky Wernick shows Kerry Potter why you just can't be
piece of golden oldie. And I'm getting bullied because I'm too old at 53. in the mail on Sunday. That's meant to make me feel better. It doesn't. It's made me feel worse. See you later.